At the CDC now recommending wearing a mask whenever possible to avoid catching the virus. Let's be honest, they're not easy to find right now. And if you can find a mask, do you know how much protection you're actually getting from it? Consumer reporter Lindsay Branson gets all your questions about masks answered. She joins us now live with what she's found. Lindsay. Tracy, you know, there are so many rumors out there right now. So I'm here to tell you the do's and don'ts of covering your mouth so, of course, you and your families can stay safe. It's becoming the new norm, wearing a mask if you have to leave the house. But will any kind of mask protect you against coronavirus? Any mask decreases what's going out. And the more people that wear masks, the less that's going to be out into the air or within a few feet, even if the person coughs. Dr. Corey Slovis over at Vanderbilt Medical Center says if you can get your hands on an N99 or N95 mask, that's your best level of protection. But even a surgical mask like this one can still protect you. Something else we talked about, covering your face with a bandana or t-shirt if you can't find a mask. And is that safe? If you're wearing any kind of mask and maintaining distance, you are decreasing the likelihood of getting infected. Medical experts say by wearing a mask, you're actually cutting the rate of transmission by 50%. What that means is that if everybody is wearing a mask, regardless of who had the virus, the chain of transmission would be reduced. Something else you want to be sure you do is use hand sanitizer before putting your mask on and also taking it off. This will help prevent it from becoming contaminated. And listen, I know masks are hard to find right now, and I was actually able to find some available on Amazon, but take a look. Most of them you can't even get until the end of May, and of course, we're all looking to protect ourselves right now, not wait until the end of May. Tracy, Tom. So I know you've you showed us the bandanas, and Nancy's been on this story. We should at least have a bandana. We can wash those bandanas. But, Lindsay, when it comes to the medical masks that I know you've been able to show, because you do have to be married to a doctor, I know that's probably why you have them. <laughs> Tell me, can you Re wear yeah, those. Right here. Can we rewear re those? That's right. So, Tracy, great question. Here's the deal. A surgical mask like this one, you can rewear it. But here's the thing. Medical experts say only if it hasn't been contaminated, meaning you don't believe you've been around someone um, who, who has, you know, has COVID-19 or someone coughed on you, even if you're not sure whether they have it, someone accidentally coughs on you um, or something like that, consider that mask contaminated and you want to throw that out. Okay. It's very important not to use it again, but otherwise you can re-wear this mask as much as possible. All right, Lindsay Bramson, thank you so much.